So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a natural looking lip for everyday use or for drag. Um, I'm going to use a color that I've never used before, which is Beyond Pink. LaShawn Beyond would probably love this since it says Beyond. Um, it's by L'Oreal, the color rich, R-A-C-H-E, -R rich, color rich, color rich, I don't know. Um, I'm going to overline my lips just a tiny bit. but I'm going to follow my basic lip shape. <laughs> this one is like too light for me. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use Coffee Bean by Rimmel London Coffee Bean. I'm just gonna go right hardly over my lip just to make it a little bit luscious. Just really make sure that you take your time with it and don't rush so that they look pretty and perfect and as good as they can. And if you ever mess up, just make them bigger, and you can eventually, like, have Share Needles lips. Thumbs up for Share Needles. Make sure each side is even, too. Otherwise, it's just going to look strange. And make sure that when you smile, your lip line looks okay because if your lips look perfect when you're like this and then look wonky when you're smiling then you probably don't want to draw them on that way so just barely overline your bottom lip as well and then just fill it in in the corners <laughs> okay, so now that your lip liner is on, you want to just, you can take just a little q-tip, which is fine, and you're just going to smooth this line in to your lip. You can obviously use a lip brush, but... There's no point in getting another brush dirty if you don't have to. <laughs> so they look good when I smile. And they look okay when my lips are closed too. Which is exactly what you want. Now, what you're going to do is take a white eyeliner. This is by Wet n Wild. And this is a white. Put it in the middle of your lips. Mash it together a little bit. You could have used the other side of the Q-tip as well. And then, it's not good if your lips are dry, like mine are right now, so just add more. And then if the top of yours falls off, then you know you did it right. So clearly you don't want to leave it like that, otherwise you'd just be crazy. So now I'm going to take the Beyond Pink from earlier, since it's pretty much my natural lip tone. And just blend, like, in the middle, so that these two blend together. Mm -hmm. 
And the more you mash your lips together, the more blended it'll be. So, do a cheesy smile. And you're perfect. So you could do a couple of things. Um, a lot of times what they actually do on photo shoots, which I found out, is they will take a transparent powder. Um, I'm just going to take just whatever. It doesn't matter. Just a transparent powder. I'm just going to use this one from Hard Candy. And they pat it right over their lips. You see how that looks? It looks crazy. But if I find my brush... You blend it in. And then they won't smear. So it sucks if you want to have a gloss. But I hate putting lip gloss on my lips when I'm in drag. Because my wig always gets in my lips and it just stays like that. But I actually like how this looks. It's quite perfect, I think. Um, and then you can also just get a little bit of the white on your finger. The white eyeshadow. And just tap it right in the middle. For that little extra. The little extra that you need. So I hope you benefited from this video. I hope it helped you a little bit. Um, and stay tuned for the next part of this series.